It is a perfect night. Out of all the CMA Fest stages I've gotten to perform on, I think this might be the best weather, which is like a good sign. Even just walking on stage, I'm like, the vibes are good. Um, I didn't get to play last year at CMA Fest. Uh, I was on tour with Kenny Chesney, and um, I really, I, mi I love CMA Fest. I really missed it. And so to be able to bring Welcome Matt to the stage for the first time and um, just, just be in it again with the people that love country music the most, it feels like a huge celebration. I, I feel like... I sound like a broken record because I say it all the time, but Welcome Matt has just been the anomaly of my career because I wrote it so differently than I would any other album. Uh, I had just written my like proper 13 song, you know, through the label a and record. And then I very quietly was obviously going through a, a very big life change and I, I made this record really selfishly, like, like truly for myself and didn't worry about where the songs would fit or if they would work and X, Y, and Z, I just, uh, it was just like creative freedom and emotional freedom and it changed my life. And so I, I, I just, anytime I get to play these songs now, the songs that I swore I would never play live, now they're the songs that I look forward to the most. Yeah. Funny how that works. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like the best thing that I ever did for myself was be a fan. And the best thing that I continue to do for myself as an artist is be a fan. I mean, even a couple years ago, I think I played on the Friday or Saturday and I came back with my mom the next day and watched the show. I just, I, I really try to fill that cup and especially CMA Fest, it is, you know, everyone's favorite artists are all here at the same time. And to be able to have, you know, 30 minutes to watch them on stage or 30 seconds to meet them in a meet and greet, like it, it makes such a difference. I can say that because I've been the one waiting. I've been the one in the nosebleeds here at Nason. So it's just, it's really, it's important and it's magical. And um, I would say if you're someone that's here as a fan that wants to be in music, be a fan. I truly don't know if I would have had the, the audacity, I guess, um, the nerve to move to Nashville had it not been for my high school choral teacher, Becky Thomas. She was the first person who was like, I feel like I'm seeing this change from like a hobby to a passion. And I was, you know, 14, and she was like, you know, for when the seniors graduate this year, why don't you write a song and play it on stage? She was like the first person to really nurture that love for me and, and give me an opportunity. And I just, also just the community even before that, that that like choral program provided, it was so important for me in those like developmental key years. And um, I, I just, I think it's so important, just like you should have the opportunity to know if you're really good at math or science or sports. You know, I think having the opportunity to know if you're good at arts and letting it be an outlet for you in every stage of life is, is really, really important.